Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I wanted to share one of the statements of Imam Ibn Hajar al Asqalani, rahimahullah, where he comments on the new Salafi sect that we have. So, you know, the new Salafi, they're, they're, they're called the Wahhabis or the Atharis or Ahlul Hadith or whatnot. There's different names and titles to them nowadays. But one of the statements of Imam Ibn Hajar al Asqalani points directly to their aqidah. Now, their big claim is that they follow the aqidah of the Salaf al Salih. And a lot of them say that Imam Ibn Hajar al Asqalani was actually upon the aqidah of Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah. He was actually upon the Salafi Aqidah that they propagate uh, today. In fact, that's not true. Imam Ibn Hajr al-Asqalani talks about them very directly. In his book, Fath al-Bari, he comments under the hadith where it says, Yanzilu Rabbuna, where uh, the Prophet ﷺ says that our Lord descends to the lowest heaven. Now, the majority of the scholars did not accept this on its literal and apparent meaning. And this is what Imam Ibn Hajar rahimahullah says. He says, man jihata wa qala hiya jihatul ulu. Those who say Allah is in a direction and Allah is in the above direction, they use this hadith as their evidence. But then he says right after, wa ankara dhalik al -jumhur. The majority of the scholars have rejected that. Why? Because he says, he says, That saying that Allah is in a direction means that Allah is in a place. It's going to lead to the statement that Allah is in a literal place. And he says, Ta'ala Allahu an dhalik. That you know, far greater is Allah than to be described as in a direction and in a place. So that's something that the Salafi sect of today nowadays, you know, they, they say they say that Allah is in the direction of above and he's above and he's literally in this place, etc., above the throne, whatnot. They say that he's above in the literal sense. And the majority of the scholars, as Imam Ibn Hajar rahimahullah says, is uh, you know, uh, to the opposite opinion of that. They don't believe that. They reject that. Then he says over here, وَقَدْ اِخْتُلِفَ فِي مَعْنَى النُّزُولِ فِي مَعْنَى النُّزُولِ عَلَىٰ أَقْوَالٍ That there are differing opinions with the, uh, with regards to the meaning of النُّزُول with, with the meaning of descent. What does descent mean in this hadith? Okay, so he says, فَمِنْهُمْ مَنْ حَمَلَهُ عَلَىٰ ظَاهِرِهِ وَحَقِيقَتِهِ Pay attention to these two statements. ظاهر and حقيقة. ظاهر means the apparent meaning and حقيقة means the literal meaning. He says there are those who understood the meaning of descent on its apparent and literal meanings. And he says, وَهُمْ الْمُشَبِّهَ That those are the ones who uh, likened Allah to His creation. The, the, the people who believe that this is taken on its apparent and its literal meaning are the mushabbiha, are the ones who liken Allah to His creation because without saying it, even though they don't say that like Allah, uh, like, like the creation descends, Allah descends. They don't make that direct comparison between Allah and the creation. Their statement that this is taken on its literal automatically means that. And so he says, وَهُمْ uh, الْمُشَبِّهَ That they are the, they are the مُشَبِّهَ تَعَالَ اللَّهُ عَنْ قَوْلِهِمْ That far greater is Allah than their statement and their opinion. So this is exactly the exact same. that You find this all over the you know, Salafi websites that propagate the, the Salafi sect in Aqidah. All over the place you'll see عَلَى ظَاهِرِهِ وَحَقِيقَتِهِ عَلَى ظَاهِرِهِ وَحَقِيقَتِهِ Everywhere it says that this is taken on its apparent and taken on its literal. And Imam Ibn Hajar, rahimahullah, who's, you know, arguably one of the greatest scholars of, of hadith and who wrote the greatest commentary in uh, Sahih al-Bukhari, uh, he says over here about this hadith and about these people that they are the mushabbiha and far greater is Allah than their statements.